Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, Son of Beast here, and today this video is going to be about each team's. As for the start of, for the first time ever, we're about to present to you the NHL Rival Week. Now this is the part of the game that we have never seen how they played like this before in every other season. No matter which teams are good, higher range or the lower range in the stat ability by the two. So this is where we are starting things off on the board as we're going to have the first two in battle range to have it all coming in. First two up, I give this thing a good credit to find which one that goes with the best team to have that review. But in this game, I already did the Capitals vs. the Penguins in the last game. I'm just going to say that this will be coming up for the next game pretty soon for this year in 2024. So, if I'm being mind, I'm about to find out which team is going to have a higher range than that. We start off here to we'll go with the selection. We have the Chicago Blackhawks facing against the Detroit Red Wings. Now, let's talk about this one here for the Blackhawks versus the Red Wings. These are the tough team that does happen to be one of them that nobody has ever seen what goes with the lineup. And here's what the matchup has done for every rivals of this game. This is what's the biggest part of the uh, rival in this game, and this was the part of it. Why is this? Well, it's because of what happens here, one of the NHL's hallmark rivalries. They were part of the original six franchise, and they are just making this one a lot hard. They started in 1982 for the Stanley Cup playoffs, and a four-game sweep of the division winning of the Red Wings by the Blackhawks. It was in the Norris Division Finals, capped by the Branch Sutter goal. And as you could say, but they made the Stanley Cup Final that season, losing to the Pittsburgh Penguins. But this reaching has turned to be this. Three years later, two teams met during the 1995 Western Conference Finals, and Detroit won in five games before finishing as the runner-up to the New Jersey Devils that year. It would be the last postseason meeting between the teams of 14 years, as the Blackhawks faded into the hockey and enemy towards the end of the 90s and into the 2000s, while Detroit surged to the top of the league, winning four Stanley Cups between 1997 and 2008. But as of right now, these are the two that are going to be meeting up for the regular season. We're about to find out what happens here in between the Chicago Blackhawks and Detroit Red Wings of the, in the Mortar City. As I have my first commentator standing by, we have in between the range of Terry Crews, then across from here, the new commentary of the game. Ultra Beast. Well, I will show you the face later because you will never know what's going to happen like that. And this part of the game is all what it does turn out. And center eyes, I will have this paintbrush. Here are the starting groups, Seth Jones, Connor Bedard, Bedard, and Taylor Hall. The starting goaltender for the Chicago Blackhawks will be Marzik. And on the other side is Dylan Larkin, Alex Dimprakat, and Moritz Seider. And the starting goaltender for the Red Wings will be Huso. Now, let's get into Little Caesars Arena, and you'll see the Red Wings back again to face against the Islanders. Let's get going. Here we go. Hey everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL Rival Week on EA Sports. Here in Detroit, it's about that time to face against the other team of the Blackhawks. Clock is about to drop and we are underway. It's go time in Detroit City of Motor. On the starting group, we have his Larkin. Jones is on the other side of the range. Better right over the end to Kurashev. Here's Kurashev on his start way down. Takes it ahead. Sider with the puck, and he's on his way down to the other side of the rink. Denver Cat in the corner. Here's Jones, picks it up to Falagno, and Kurashev with the puck. Bittard with the ring. 
In the inside, Kurashev! Kurashev stop! Takes it away from the first saving of the night. You know, it's really the calls for Uso is one of the biggest men here in the league. In the center of it, I have one thing to say about him. He's like a good player of mine. But this is all what it does happen now. Uso stops again at the huge save and bound. He'll hold it up for the whistle here with only 18.25 to go. Starting on the group run for the Wet Wings and the Hawks. Score is still even. O'Connor wins the faceoff. Fighter give over to Perron. And Perron on his way down on the left side of the wing. Rachel with the puck now giving over to Gannon Hall. Hall oh, moves his way down right towards the right. Going in from center. Lost that puck. Rebounded by Jones. On the back can't stop. Stop by Gusa with the save. He's going to opt for the whistle here. Ready for another face-off attack into the Red Wings territory. Back again as Chard has the puck recover. He gives up the cop. Hop on the right wing of his side. Loses the puck but recovers it. Chard right into the inside. Right Joe gives it over to Jones. Gave it back over again to Taylor New Hall. And Rage with the puck. On his way move with a backhand. Shot stop made by Busso. He's basing at that throw. You can always tell them that he's always a good one to take. He scores! There's the first goal for the Red Wings. That's called for shot. Taking it start run for the Red Wings. Now, I never see that copper was going to get there right away. And here's that break end. When you give it up a slap shot right away, you have that perfect decision, and then take it right from the knees, and then be over again to Verzek. That's a hard one to take it clean. Red Wings on the start run, as right now they have the start early lead here for one nothing goal. A 16.39 to go in the game, looking on a start run for the Red Wings. And on and down, here's Raymond. Give to Timbercat. Moves it to Larkin. No, the stop made by the goaltender. Recover by Murphy. Here's Burbar, and it goes right down towards Whitting from the boards. Bedard with the puck. Chariot takes it over, and now give it back to Timbercat. Takes it inside with the bottle puck, and Korczynski with the save and bound. The Hawks are back into the transition in the Wings territory. Kurashev shot! That goes up and deflected right behind the goaltender. Oh, now give to Larkin. Denver Cat, they'll have it here. In the middle, and to Batar will have it across from here. On the other side of Batar. Goes down, and Batar will have it back. Moving inbound quickly, and Usa made that stop save. What a play! Chicago back the other way, now find Johnson. With the man in a rush. Looking for room. Here's some stuff at the save with only 14 14 remaining. It's always an easier enough, but you can always just say that how good is he? Because you have that on a lot of his percentage. Centers are gliding, ready for the face off. Wings have a 1 0 lead over the Chicago Hawks. Fabry with the puck. The Wings are back into the offense in Chicago territory. Melanos switches over, and a mid-bound, Merzak with the save. Going right from right to left, and had that first save of the night. Oh, you can't just tell about what he ever goes down. I can definitely just say that you know, he has been fumbling over it. He might be feeling like, oh man, I can't really tell how good it is. Because you can't just like give away with that. Chicago wins the faceoff. Zaysev way over now to Perry. 13.35 left to go in the first period. Now swings it over to Johnson. Johnson lost the puck. In his own entry, Gardasphere. Get back to Perron. Blocked it up by Merzik. Dickinson, give it over the pass to Johnson. Looks it inside towards the middle and now finds Zaysev. Zaytsev with the puck in right in the right. Perron takes the puck steal. Johnson gives it back. And a goaltender comes in with a save. 
Just 12.37 to go in the first period, and another face-off on its way. They are all set, ready for another puck drop. In between the two, it is a 1-0 lead still. Fires away! Good block defense by the Red Wings. They always got to make that pick. Always, you can't just really tell that whenever this one comes down, you can't just really tell that it was really that tough. Not always impressive, but it's a lot of a hard hit to take over it. Sprunge right into the two-on-one. Shot stopped again by the goaltender. Sprunge recovers it. Battling for the loose puck as Hall geeks and takes it over. Lead in an open man, he finds Jones. In the corner, Smackdown, and Sprunge has it back. Now into the left wing, fires away! School tender stop. Jones back to right, Chow, and now Chicago is back into the other way with his position. In the corner now, right, Chow. All shot, stop by Gusso. Nearing the midway mark of the period, still ready to take the narrow face off run. Officially getting ready to take the ice inbound. Still a 1 0 lead for Detroit. Larkin wins the face off. Hole will have that puck into bound to take the transition. Moves it around again to Raymond. Bologno takes it over. He finds Kurashev. Moves back to Kuczynski. Across the line for the center. Takes a shot. Hits a stop made by Husso. Kurashev finds Kuczynski. Murphy shot. Oh, what a great club save. Oh, he's really done too good. That fantastic out there is just really improving it. I can't really tell how much he is, but that is a lot of hard response. Larkin, another face-off win. Back to Raymond. The Wings are back into the offense zone. Hit the pass to Democrat. Oh, Marisic with the save. Got that one in time, passing the midway mark of the period. With just 9.31 to go. Officials are getting set here, ready for the face-off. Another one for Larkin win. Cherry inside. Ooh, there's it. Good call on an ice inbound. But a save right to the chest. And gain another one with a face-off look. Larkin has an ultimate makes some wheels that goes right above it. When he has that fast and breaking bounce, he can try to put up a deliverer upon the breakaway chain when he had it all. Even if Seth Jones can definitely try to like, prepare for a battle, he wants to take that one all for his competition. These are the only two I might be watching in between here, guys. It's going to be a hard one to take. Back to you. Uso's ready to take their team, ready for another face-off inbound with under nine minutes. A win for Larkin. Now off the cider. Detroit back into the offense now, finding Denver Cat. And a shot him out. Blocked away by a defender. Murphy recovers the puck here, now passing the center ice. Into the right bound, Dickinson with a cutting bound. Here's a stop made. Bowling for the loose puck. Dickinson recovers and now finds Murphy. Raymond takes it over. And Johnson bound, blocked away as Raymond takes it back. 7.45 left to go in the first period, still on a good run for the Red Wings. On their time shift, they really just really wanted to make that an improvement that they wanted to get right to it. I just never see what was going to happen like that. They're just going to make that one feel like they are all over this right now. Not to believe them, they really wanted to know how hard they did just to get inbound. It's a lot of hard ones to go with the rookie's idea or with the professional players. That's a lot of hard one to take. Johnson blocked the shot as Wallman takes it over. Now finds Comper. Gets the puck right away. That goes to Fleck going back by the corner of the net. Back to Kayser. In transition. Radish with the puck. Blocked away, what a slap down. The goaltender comes in with a save. The Red Wings are back into their offense zone. Kayser brings their team back in. 
530 left to remain in the first period. Get to cut. Slitting across the wall. Battle takedown in the middle ice. We covered it. And Reyes going back the other way. Not finds Hall. In the inbound, stopped it by the Huso Pat save. Murphy outside, gloves it again. Oh, he is too good right now. Got a lot of bunch of saves, keeping it going. Well, it's a good thing to make that one ball that countable. You just got to tell that the Red Wings got a smackdown in between on the Hawks. They just really like feeling like they want to step up with the pressure. I can't really tell how this is going to happen. The wing comes in for the Hawks. Lasik shot. Hold the stop made by the goaltender. Hole oh, kicks the puck. Full pressure is on a Chicago, but it will be Valeno leaving the puck zone. On the shot inbound, and another stop man goes out by Nursing. Jones on the right side. Looks at the mound. Stopped away as Hole oh, gives it over to Raymond. Raymond gives it to Embercat. Moves it back towards Plastic with a buck steal. Moving on over into the right wing. Puck loose. Barkin with the puck recovery. He's all alone. One on one. Oh, took the smackdown with the big hit for the Red Wings. Well, because if Larkin wants to make that one to go with the attack, I just really have to tell you that in mind. He wants that. He wants to put up his revenge on them. They just got to get this through. Zayasev blocked a shot, and Kurashev gives it back over to Kayser. Tries again. Oh, great deflection. Give it back to Cherit. Wayne's back in transition. Never cut shot. Hit the goal pass. That's a close call to get the 2-0 score. Kurashev right over to the right wing. Moves inbound. Puck leaves his own and Kayser regroups the puck. Back to the other lane. Here's Saita. Finds Perry. Fires it out. Detroit back in offense. Perry takes it away. Saita pass to Johnson. Shoots inbound. Rebound stop again by Guso. We are under a minute remaining in the first period as Severcat tried to take the team up ahead. Nothing inbound. Zayatsev has that puck now in the Detroit territory. Dickinson gets fumbled up by the defenders and Goddess here gives it back. On a take to Perron. Looks it over to Kyle. Shot! Stopped by Merzak. Well, he's already like, taking a good inbound. He's just trying to make that one clear. He's just really not that one to try to save that puck inbound. He has to get right to it. I just don't believe how well he does. Wing comes in. Slider shot. Wide. Kicks it out. And that will do for the first period. A start run for the Red Wings. 1-0. We'll get to the second period when we come back after this. Hey guys. It's your ultimate guy, Boomer here. And this video, this one is brought to you by... Your ultimate of this game. Now this is not what we're all calling for sponsorship, but this is where we all call for. Say hello to one of our games. It's the NHL Preplay. You can make your selections here of, of choosing which team who has the best. In between 10 questions and you will get to receive one of each picks. From your NHLshop.com gift card. They're $100 each and play daily for a chance to win. And winners that will get to this inbound for all season long to get $50,000. That's right, you can play anytime right here onto the app. Just choose what you're looking for, and you can choose any of each teams that can make the win. It doesn't matter which one you want to choose for, but at least a higher percentage will have the ability to take the competitions out in between. But these are the best ones that you can always take on right here and there. Choose which team you want and a team to win from anything. You can choose whatever you want to do. And with the power play goals in between and players too. Over or under. It's your call to make a decision from in between. 
play now with your daily challenge to place it with your friends or, or get online here at NHL.com slash preplay to challenge your friends or join the game. Create yourself here as any time you like. So thanks for the uh, message for preplay. It's time to get back into the action. Boomer out. Welcome back, guys. Right now we are starting the second period. It's the Red Wings and the Hawks of the rival week. Ready to take things on as right now we say by a lot of Ultra Beast. Let's have him report about the first period recap. Well, it's always a great thing. And I must tell you that this is a lot of the hard teams and responsive. Always can't usually tell when they are really up to a head. This is why the hard one does turn out. I just really have nothing else to say what is going to happen nearby. But this element was turning to be a very close game and I expected. Not to say before, however, this is, but this is a turning out to be a lot of a huge improvement with the matchups in between from each. They can't just like leave them alone at that point. They got a lot of them to take over it. On a star run for the second period, Falegno give it over again to Batar. The Blackhawks are into the Red Wings territory, their time to take it. Kershaw, well stayed by Husa. Takes that inbound and goes with the first save of the night. Officials are getting set here, ready for the faceoff. Still a 1 0 lead for Detroit. Now the win comes in for Chicago. Cup takes it away. He's on a fast break, Red, can he take it? Oh, did not have that right one. As Marisic takes a save. Looking inbound, it's going to be a close call in the range. Not even just going to let it go by, but they are like pulling it over and taking it away. With the win, here's Cut. Oh, give to Reyes. 17.45 remaining on a start run. Slider giving over again to Comper. Over again to Cop. Lost that puck as Hall takes it over to right Chow. The Hawks are in transition. Take the pass to Hall. Blocked away. Rebound scores. Right it ties the game up by one. And finally receiving 32 of his game. The ultimate career is not always that easy. It's impossible. Try to leave it over again. But that's a hard one to take. You can see that defense, when he goes down, Reyes comes in to help. This was really that tough when he was trying to find a look, an open look. But you can't just really tell that he was right around it. He just beats the goaltender right away. That's a hard one that he is trying to maintain. They tie this game up by one with only 17 or 8 remaining. Reyes with the goal, all assisted, right child behind it. Gone pretty tough on that first period, but looking for a comeback switch in a second period. Now back the airway is Perron. Looks it over. Flies it away as Merzik stops. Cop give it back to Slider. Fires away. Merzik safe. Pulls it inbound, getting ready for another faceoff with under 16.3 to go. We haven't even made the make way mark of the period. It's all tied up now. Chicago goes back into work. And Perry, give it back again, right over now to Dickinson. Now, swings it over again on the other hand. Flings it out. Sider recoups the puck. Get down to Peron. Peron on his way down with a 2 on one opportunity. Too many bodies in the way as Korczykski takes it over. Johnson, give it back the other way. With the puck inbound, puts it over. Sider back to Peron. Tries to do it again. Moving bound. Stop a man here by Mirzik. Jones back the our way. Now finding an offense. Going to Johnson. Barry on a run. Gets slammed down. Barry regroups it. Get back to Johnson. Shot. Who's going to stop the save? This is a close call in the range. Very tough one to get out of here. Yeah, it's not always that easy enough. You just really got to like keep out of the zone. It's called Danger Zone. Set and ready for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and read back in. Cherry at the Denver Cap. He now in the offense zone, now picking up steam. 
Going for a look angle. That's sucked away by Gamerzak. Recovers it by Larkin. Look to Terrian. On the breakaway, scores! That is where it comes in to take the lead after a tie broken. That's a wild look up here because you know that Chariot was able to do that on his own. You can't just really tell him that he was way open. He said, I'm going to have to find another way to do this. And this is where his power comes in. Ben Chariot really fires it away and he just went right towards it. That is a tough one and nobody has saw that coming. The Red Wings are back in front. Just only coming down towards the line, and Larkin and Denbercat got a good run in between. With under 14 minutes, it's Kurchak. And Larkin get back to hole. Locks it away. Here's Chariot. Has that goal in front. Has its first goal in the game. Now has again to Denbercat. Moves it around right towards the side. Gets banged up. Jones back the airway now finding Kurchak. Into the Red Wings territory, and Sharia takes it over to get the Democrat. Finds more will. Get back to Hall. Off to Larkin. On the shot, fire and mount, stopped made by Mercek. Fabry up, in rebound, blocked away by Frolingno. Better, right back to the offensive. Zone. Getting ready to take another face off run. Battling with a loose putt. Radius recovers. Now Hall back in bound. Stopped by Huso. Now give it back again. Here's Jones. Swiped it down. Better shot. Huso stuck me. Whoa, pretty good on the run. That's right now. Huso's making another stop out of it. He's trying to go for it big here. Off to a great run here in between of the second period runs. Two ones to score for Detroit. Back the air away it goes. A cider who takes the face off. Get back to Valeno. Fear laying it out. Kuczynski's all tied up now. Fischer recoups the puck to Cider. Takes the inbound. And a stop by Merzik. Fischer to Cider. Block the shot. Rebound away, but wide, and then leaves the puck zone into the Red Wings territory. It's really not hard, but the Travis Station news is not going to be easy enough. And I have nothing else to say about what it goes with. But if you're firing the puck, look before you go. The Hawks take step transition as Korczynski gets to Dickinson. He finds French. Passing the midway mark of the period, and it goes right towards the board. No penalty called on both teams, as they are putting a good run in between. Korczynski over to Johnson. Gets swaying down as Donisphere takes it over. Myra up again to Rapsuzic. Looks to French. Shot! Stop by Merzik! Oh, good save inbound. Takes it from here, and it's still a stopping run of inbound. Now they're ready to do another face-off. It's still a 2-1 game for Detroit. Detroit wins it. Chariot shot. Didn't go with the deflection as Murphy takes it away. Not a big and bad inbound, but this is a lot of the hard that nobody has ever doing this. But that's how hard, tough it is. You can't just like get away with that. Here comes Larkin on the fast wheel. Slows it down. Shot stopped away again by Merzik. Dog inbound, Raymond taking that too late. That's blocked. Raymond takes it back to Larkin. Looks the hole, shot blocked by Johnson. Carries it along the board as Chariot gets it back to Denbercat. Looks back to Larkin. Down and cross inbound. Larkin past the hole. Put it back, stopped by Merzik. Harry back the other way, now fighting again to Jones. And he pulls it back over again to Vitar. Now find Jones in the other way. Passes is broken up. Recovered by Larkin. And we have a enforcement of a referee signals a penalty call. It will be the Detroit power play. Here's one, and it goes down. Kurochev 
get in the penalty box. That's what goes for the team. You can't mess up on it. Power plays on for the Detroit Red Wings in the second period with just only 6.52 remaining. On the attack, here's Wallman. Fires a shot. Velasic stops the puck and leaves his own out. Crowds chanting for a go, let's go Wings. Here's Confer with the shot. Takes it about, stopped by Merced. Ryan with the puck. On and move down with a two-on-one opportunity. With a short hand in, stopped by Gusso. Raymond taking it over again. Murphy has that puck. Inbound, flies over. Wallman right behind it now finds Brunch. Deep pass to Cumber. The dish in between. Merzik stopped with the save. Classic went a little bit of a rough on the angle. The Red Wings are back in offense. Wallman deep pass back to Raymond. Go with the slap shot. Merzik stops away. Oh, that's a big smackdown. Looking a really rough on run, comfortable hits. Looks like he's coming out ready to go. And whistle, stopped by Gusso. The power play comes empty for the Red Wings as they are back to even strength. You have to really blame on one of the players here because of right now, Mursek, he's really like firing it up. Heat pressure makes sense, but it's not really that hard it takes. That took it over this time! This moment had that goal! Let's watch that one again, because I was seeing that it looks like that the puck just lost him. Here's what happened now. Because he went that shot with Merzik, he just didn't really think he was going to get there. He lost that puck and he didn't get that one back in there. That's a disappointing run here for the goaltender to try to stop him up. And it looks like now that Wallman had that one a good response. He just got that goal right away. Hole oh, has that with a mound. Now takes the counter. Shot stopped by Merzik. Here's Kurashev with the puck. Lost that one as Cherian moves it in mound. Here's Hole with the puck. Now finds Perron. Over to counter. He moves it inside. On the double man. Too many bodies in a way. Stop again by Merzik. Oh, he's still not going to give up this time. Kurashev with the puck. Flings it out. Hole has it over. Hole tries it over. Kicks the puck out. The Hawks are in back in transition as Kornjinski takes it over. Galeno back to Hole. Hole gives to Fisher. Fisher in the inbound. Korczynski takes it over. Now Jones will have it. Johnson back here away. Going with a big inbound. On the chain is Wallman. Two minutes remaining in the second period. Fabry on his way down. Tries to get to Valeno. Saw by Merzik on a big inbound. Valeno the Wallman. Gets to Raymond. Dickinson takes up seal. Looks over to Johansson. Sorry, Johnson. Hurry shot. Had it saved me by Russo. Trying to stop the run. Hit the way. Good punch check by the goaltender. Final minute remaining in the second period as it comes down to the end of the second. And now Larkin's on his way. Looks it over. Pass. Inbound. Stop by Mercy. Oh, he is already on fire this time. He just felt like nothing's going to happen. I am not leaving. Well, don't answer that because if you always do, you're going to have a tough time to make a release. Larkin with the winning faceoff. Blocked away. Sider loses the puck. And Paul back to it again. 30 seconds remaining. Larkin takes it over. And now Denver Cat has it all. Takes a stop. Johnson right again to Hall. 10 seconds remaining. 
Rytel on his move, back to Jones to Balasic. Shot went wide. Take back to Wolman, back to Cop. And that will end the second period. Good run on after a power play, but it turns over to be a 3-1 lead for the Red Wings. Third period's coming up after the break. It's more than hockey, ready for the final period of the game. It has been a fun night here in the Motor City, and we're about to finish things off for the one last period of the game. How does it all take down with you there, bud? And let's find we'll have your take on how this happened in the second period. It's a lot of elastic on that shot. I can definitely just say, but it was a very tough one to keep an eyes on. But this wasn't really that hard how it made that transition go back in between. I just really have to tell you that they were really on an off great start here for the Red Wings in Chicago. But this is a very tough and good close call because they really are trying to make that one feel like they want to do it again. Nothing but they want. They just really wanted to stop and bound. They just got to do it again. Denver catch to Wallman shot. Pulled it away by the goaltender. Raymond kicks the puck. Now over again. Ebedar with the puck. In control and bound back to the wing territory. Go slam down. What a big surprise. Slider give it over to Perron. Burron on the left side. Looks it over to Conker. Shot. Hold the stop made by Merzik. He's going to hold it up here, ready for the faceoff. Let's stand it by as for the last game here to paintbrush of how this happened. What do you think this happened here for the last play? Well, thank you so much, Sir Terry. I was looking at it right away because that puck was like leaving it from the goaltender in behind. He was way off the mark of a mark run. That setup is not turning out that really perfect on the angle where it was going. But I know it was very that tough. Not a clear option that it was going right in between from here. It was very that tough, but when he tried to take the save, he just didn't have that one right response. Because all of that happens right now when the defender tries to take it, the puck went in right behind it, the red line right toward the crease end, and it went in towards it. They counted as a goal here for that one, and I'll try to see who's the next goal going to take. All right, thank you so much there, Paintbrush. Here's Sider with the puck now into the right wing. Looking bound, trying to take the goal, but the defender take it over with the poke check. Oh, reach across. Sider with the puck now finding again to Perron. Her on over it again. Pass to Cop. Cop moves inside. Korchanski gives it back to Perry. On the attacking bound, he finds Comper. Detroit inbound. Taking his big stop. Murphy on his way down with under 15.30 to go. Dickinson. No penalty on Detroit. Across the line, here's Wallman. Shot away! And a puck will sail out of the bank reach and goes up into the netting. Officials are getting set, ready for the faceoff. Still a 3 1 game as Detroit's up by two. Back to win it again. Chariot shot. Bobby rebound. Stop by Merzik. And we got a whistle and bound. That goes to the Blackhawks for the tripping call. Murphy in the penalty box. Oh, he's going to make that one feel like he's going to have to pay for this for every time. Not a good option. You just can't stop. It's hard to say right now, but you just don't have a lot of time to respect it. It was very tough, but you can't just like leave it alone and get away with that. Larkin with the win as Sider has it out. Full pressure for the wings as Velasic takes it over. Velasic stops it down as Denver Cat takes it over to Gottesbeer. Pass back to Perron. Here's Perron back to Gottesbeer shot. Good stop by the goaltender as God Velasic makes it over to her save. And Donato right towards it now. In the bottom draft, stopped away and is finding Perron. Now find Sider. 
Donato lost that puck. Sider give it over to Lurkin. He's on a man. Two on one. Lost that one. And it goes back over again to Jones. Battling for a loose puck. Lost that one as Sonata takes it over. Got it, Spear. Takes it over. Now, back to Larkin. Shoots. Blocked away. The Hawks are back into the transition, trying to leave out the zone. And Donato back the other way. Fires away. Stopped by Goose over the bounds. He's almost ready to get out there, and this time is almost up. And that will do for the Red Wings power play. Comes up empty handed as this one turns away to make that slap call to stay out of the zone. Yeah, it's pretty much to say what it is. But you can't just really tell them that they were really are trying to make that full pressure and steam. They were really trying to get this thing out of here, but nothing has come out. Right on ahead to make the full steam work. It's going to be a lot of challenging to do your course to make it work. Aubrey, and that will have to replace a new stick, and it goes broken. Oh, break the broken chain already. You're going to have to make more room out of it to try to help him out. Karashev, right behind Batar. Lost that one as Kaser takes it over. Poked away by the goaltender, and that's stopped him out. Aubrey with the buck with only 11.20 to go. On the breakaway chain, he scores! Look at this motion! Fabry had eight goals! Got the extension up for one! This is all what the fast break does when he was all alone. If you have nothing to take over it, you've got to take Fabry out of credit. That fling of a switch really turns it over to beat the goaltender. They are starting to show us with the support. I can say that the breakaway chain turns out to be Fabry's idea. When he has that all down, he just makes a race towards the two net, and he just beats the odd man right toward the rush, right on the goaltender. He's been turning out a terrific work, but he's going right towards it. That's behind it, and he now knows he wants to do this. This has been a great one here, there, guys. And we're looking for our next goal to take this one over. Back to you. Stop again. That's right now Raicha with the puck. Now find Reitich. Close it inbounds. Now Sider will have that puck. Keeps it past finding Buron. Buron diagonal that pass goes down. Murphy takes it over to Reitich. Passing the ball. On a crossover, Raicha with the shot, and Sider takes the rebound after a block shot. The Red Wings are in the transition. In the hawk side, shot went wide, and it goes right toward the corner of the wall. Picking up with the battle rebound, and back again is Raicha. Raicha finding a look, and Cop takes it over. 8.40 left to remain in the third. Pass the Perron shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Comfort takes it over. And Korchetsky passes it over now to Bedard. Kurashev. Oh, the slam down. Puts up for the wings. Put a throw down into it on the ice. Oh, my. I just really can't tell you how much they were doing this. A lot of force. It was just trying to pull them and say, come here, you. You just don't want to make that one feel like you want to get away with that. Rasmussen with the puck now finds Sprite. On the backhand, Merzik stop. Past the midway mark of the period, and we are almost at the end of the glove mark for the third period. Still ready for the faceoff to take on. It's a 4-1 lead over the Chicago Hawks. With the win, here's Hole, and good stop by Merzik. He's still kind of getting out of gas for a second, but still holds on with another huge save. Now for another face-off, it goes right in it, with only 7 to 15 run, well the timer. With the win, he finds Sharon. Go slam down, hello moment! Oh man, I, 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 just, I just can't really tell how much it is. But like, you always got to make that one feel like you wanted to put a bound, you want revenge, you want payback. 
Well, you got to fight off with yourself. That's a big throwdown. Wow. Now the teams are set, ready for the face-off. Adam Dickinson wins the face-off. Kayser give to Johnson. Give it over to Zaitsev. Now finds Perry on his way down. Lost that one. Takes out Chariot on the ice. Cole has it back. Moves to Chariot. Inbound, he finds an airway. Pass to Costin. Costin and their team goes offside with under six minutes remaining. Still lots of time left in this frame. It's still a 4-1 lead over Chicago. A lot of hits in its major careers in between for the players. They're just going to have to try to keep it out. Raymond. And Kayser takes it over. Johnson finding again the end whistle. Now find Donato. Donato gets it right around it as Raymond picks it up. Pass to Mata. Mata right over again into the left wing. Moves across. Raymond finds Goddester. We have a penalty call. That signals a tripping and interference. And right now the Black Fox are losing their possession and they are in the penalty box. Do whatever you can, just make them feel like you're going to feel like you're going to get hurt. All of a sudden it does feel like not a great choice offer. He's like messing him up. You just do not want to believe that you can't just get away with it. Now the wind for the Red Wings. Here's Sider. Over to Denver. Cat shot. Oh, and he put back in bounds. That's caught from the goal, and it's 92 on his run. His major career is not always to turn out to be like him. He likes to take his own rebound, and he got it right in there. With that in mind, if you can call back, Cop got that one with a deflection right in it, and he just had that one hit right from here. He just hits it and tried to swing it out. That's how you would know that you get away from Merzik. That's what the goal comes in. It has been a wild night in Detroit, as right now they are crushing it, a power play goal, and they finally are getting it right into it. Now here's Malaxen. Fires it away, right around the net. He finds Semperkat, now finding Comfer. Comfer looking it over right towards the wing. From the mound, oh, that's another big stop as Murphy takes it over by Felling now. Just 4.25 left, Dickinson shot ran wide. Sider recoups the puck. In the offensive end, on to Cobb, club by Merson. He's almost running out of time, but right now it's just only 4.7 remaining. And you can't just really tell how much they were saying that it looks like their team is going to be on a posting run on a tough scores and bound. From first seed, to the wild card positions. It looks like the Red Wings are in the wild card and they are just gonna look for himself to get back in the playoffs for the first time since a long year of the postseason. Well, they must be saying that they are gonna be a lot that hard. This challenging idea is really that obvious to go right in between. I can't really tell you how much this is, but you have to train and know that hard one strength. You're just gonna make that one feel like they're in an uncomfortable position. They want it all. What's the call? Let's stand up as Tate Brush stands by. You know, I got a great feeling because of Dylan Larkin. He is already on a push and bound. He is on a run, picking up his a moment of the game and turning out big. He's all an excellent to his imaginative person. He just feel like he wants to make the creation out of it. Huso blocks it up. 317 left to remain in the third period. Officials are getting set, ready for an arm face-off. Back to another one, as they take 30 face-off plays, this guy is here, he has it back. Jones is getting slipped out. Radish right in the other side, towards the right, and a whistle inbound, that's stopping the fender. Lowman right behind, now over again to Perron. Pass deep to Goddard's 
spins it across, boys up in. Oh, it went down hard. Oh, get back to the right child. And Goddess there goes down. All oh, get back to Radish. They haven't got their goals there in the period, but only the second period remains. And Larkin back the other way. Zayaksev with the puck. Wallman takes it over. Raichel over and out again. The Red Wings are back into the offense zone. Takes a deep pass to Perron. Falago get back to Jones. Jones on his way down. On a cut inbound. Larkin takes it over. Finds Perron. Wallman leaves it behind. In the inbound. Just one minute remaining in the third. Deep fire and Marzak with the stop. Batar with the puck. Spins around, now finds Korczynski. Korczynski's team, and they will have to leave out of the zone, and Falagno back in. Stop by Guso. Battle for the loose puck in chain. That sponge takes it over. Kubashev lost that one. Wallman and the team, and the fans are standing up wild to make the big one here, and they are going to put it up to win it. They're making this one proud. That's what happens. You know, the Motor City does rise up. That's what they do. And that's how it does. Red Wings destroy the Hawks as it goes with a 5-1 lead on an incredible takeout performance. This is amazing, and we are all seeing it big. Make them feel right, make them feel proud, and you have to salute to them. You all paid their respects. And they get the fans up to make the win in Detroit. Our biggest run moment ever turned out. It's like everyone's favorite, we all salute fans. What a great run. For me, Terry Crews and Ultra Beast, along with Paintbrush, this has been a presentation of the Rival Week. Stay tuned for another game as you will be back for the next one to take care of it. Thanks for joining with us and have a great night. Thank you so much, Sherry. Time for three star players of the game. Alex Timbercat, two assists and four hits. And Sherry with a goal and three hits. Well, he took it out big here on the big amount to have that drive. And then your first star goes with a great all-time save. Billy Guso with 34 saves all turned out for one. Here's how they did with the total combinations in between the statistic runs. 52 over 35 total shots on goal. 57 over 53 for the hits. Time on attack was only 624 over 514 for Detroit. That's an excellent passing percentage of a 94 percentage over 92. And then a faceoff wins puts up a 30 over 11. Penalty kill was only eight minutes for Chicago. And one power play goal turned to be Detroit and six minutes on the game. So that ends it up with the first rival week matchup, but we will get to the next one pretty soon for the next week, as we will be seeing things right in between on a start run to keep your eyes on. But if you're all waiting for the Washington Capitals and the Penguins, get ready. They'll be coming in pretty soon. Along with me, Senate Beast, this has been a great run to take a start for the season that we are bringing things new here. Stay tuned as we will get the next rival game matchups right along the way. Along with the other crews, I'm Son of Beast. Follow me on my social media on Instagram, TikTok, and X. Link to my about page. As for meantime, peace out everyone for a while as a rival week of NHL on EA Sports Style. Have a great night and see you all next week. Somebody will.